hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the minimap icons okay in most of the game it shows the icons on different buildings and houses so for adding the minimap icons first of all make sure that you have installed the 2d package inside your game if it is already installed then it will show you an option right here by the name of 2d object but if it is not as you can see in my case there is no option for adding 2d objects okay so i will just simply go in windows then click on package manager and then i will click on unity registry and once you click on unity registry at the top the first package is the 2d package as you can see right here it has all of this package which is the 2d sprite sprite shape time tile map editor etc etc okay or if you didn't find it at the top then you can just simply search for it as just type 2d and it will show you all of these things okay so let me just install this whole package click on this install button and now in a few minutes or seconds it will be installed so as you can see this whole package is now installed we can now just simply close that and now if we click right here now as you can see we have this option which is by the name of 2d object and if you go inside sprites now we have this whole different type of sprites okay so now if we change into scene view double click on the player okay right here we have the player first of all we will show the player icon so for that inside the player let's i mean click on the player then click on 2d object then sprites and let's add a square now if we focus up right here as you can see there is the square okay it has the sprite render now if we just move the square up here for example then in the sprite what we will do we'll go on inside the sprites and as you can see this will be the icon for our player so just drag and drop that in there so now as you can see this is the icon for the player now let's rotate it on minus 90 if we check the game you know as you can see on the minimap you can see this icon right there okay now also we want to rotate it in the forward direction where the player is facing so let's say minus 90 and now as you can see it is facing in the same direction where the player is facing as you can see right there okay so now it has been set okay if you check it out now on the minimap let's click on maximize you can see it right there and now we have added the player icon now after the player icon we can add many more icon in the same way but first of all let me select this minimap camera and let's set the size of it to 15 for example and let me play the game and see now how does the icon looks okay so we have played the game now you can see the icon is moving perfectly fine okay you can notice it okay so in this way you can add your own icon to the player now after this let's add this player house icon okay so if we get right here let's open up the environment let's click on player house and inside this player house let's create a 2d sprite which will be by the square size okay let's select this square here it is let's move it up there okay now let's rotate it all on minus 90 then let's drag and drop the sprite in there okay there it is now let's rotate it on minus 90 as well and if we check the game view there it is there is the icon let me change into scene view okay and let me move the player there so that we can see it oops let's just move the player back right there okay don't move it but now as you can see we have this home icon right here okay we can actually move this home icon right here okay 
so now if we click on game view let's put it on maximize let's play the game okay so as you can see now there you can see the icon of the home and on the minimap as well okay so this is the player house and guys if you want to hide these icons when we are in the game mode okay or when the game is being played then you can do that as well let me show you how you will do that is simply select the camera but actually let's first select the square which is the icon of the player house and also select this other square as well which is the player icon okay and let's add a layer to it so add layer and let's name this layer as icons okay then click on square and this square as well and let's add a layer by the name of icon okay so now as you can see they are being gone and you will be saying that where that goes so if we click on our main camera as you can see right here it just render the things which are on this layers okay which is on the player layer ui layer and surface layer and these other layers so if you want to show it in the game view you can just select that and it will show it but if you don't want to show it then remove the tick from the icon layer and it will be removed but we want to show that on the minimap so let's select the minimap camera and right here click on that and we want to show the icon just on the minimap so now as you can see in the game view it doesn't show it but on the minimap it shows the icon so in this way you can show the icons on just the minimap like this okay so now we have added the house icon now let's add the mention icon okay which is this g sign or you can say gonzalez or gangster so if we come right here let's open up the environment click on gangster house this is the gangster house and here let's create a 2d sprite by the name of square okay it is a square so let me move it up here change the rotation to minus 90 then this one to minus 90 as well click on this add the sprite there now there is the g sign let me put the g sign perfectly fine okay like that and then we need to rotate it like that okay so now as you can see it is the g sign so this should be minus 270 this should be zero i think and then this should be 270 that's it okay so now let's just move this right here and then let's move it down below okay so now we will show the g sign right there if we change into scene view okay i mean game view let's select the minimap camera right here let's make the size of it as 1000 okay we can't see it let's make it 500 but you can see the g sign right here okay so the g sign is being showing as well now let's add the police station icon or sign if you say so if we select this police station let's focus upon the police station here it is now inside the police station let's add a 2d sprite square move the square up here make it on 90 okay here it is let's add this police sign right there and actually we want to rotate it like that then like this so make this minus 270 and this to 180 and that is it okay now let's move it down below okay like that that is it so now we have the police sign as well and in this way you can add 
many more minimap icons okay and once you added all of your icon then make sure that you select that icon for example the police station icon and make sure that you add it to the icons layer okay and also let's open up the gangster house and let's add this to the icons layer as well okay and now if we play the game let me put it on maximize now we can't see the icons in our game view okay but we can only see it in the minimap view so when we come near to the police station you can see the view or the minimap icon right here as well and also for the gangster let's walk towards the gangster house now as you can see you can see the cars as well and if we come near right here okay we actually can't see the sign of the gangster i don't know why but if we leave this in the game view let's click on that then let's go inside environment gangster house okay let's select the square here it is let's move it a little bit down below now if you check it out now as you can see the gangster sign was above the minimap camera so make sure that all of your icons are right down below the minimap camera okay so now we can just move it down below like that and it will show this icon there so now with all of the icons added the minimap icons now you can add many more icons if you want now you know how you can add these icons and now with this done let's end this video right here